And I'm your co-host, Noah. Welcome to the IBB Podcast. Today we're talking about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, teaser that we got. A little quick two-minute teaser, but it's really exciting. Time to geek out about these new threads and these new stories. Uh, and starting off with this Disney Plus original. Let's go through the story, the characters, and the behind the scenes. First, let's start off with our story breakdown. All right, so in the first couple seconds of the trailer, we see kind of this Captain America museum uh, along with uh, Falcon looking in the reflection of the shield that Cap himself gave him in Endgame. And then the words that he says in the trailer is, the the history behind the shield is complicated, which kind of implies that. uh, And also the scene itself implies that Falcon either gave up the shield or he, like, handed it over. Like, he handed it over because he doesn't think he's worthy enough to become That's exactly Captain right. America yet. He doesn't think he's good enough. And I think over the course of the series, he's going to prove to himself that he is worthy of it. And we're going to see Bucky kind of just a little second. So, uh, like I was mentioning, we have Bucky here. Uh, he's at his lake house cabin. Uh, and we know it's his lake house because he works down by the docks and all this jazz, but we'll talk about that in a second. Next, we get this little snippet of the Winter Soldier, you know, Bucky in this kind of Chinatown-looking New York uh, place. I think it's very probable to be Chinatown, and we'll see a little bit of an action sequence happen within there. So it's really exciting. No take away with who these folks are. All right, so these are known as the Flag Smashers. Uh, and as you can see in the photo, uh, they do have hostages behind them. Uh, probably to lead out the Winter Soldier and Falcon, because uh, later on we will talk about maybe uh, this gang got hired by the big bad of the show. Uh, going over the next scene, uh, we have Falcon opening up this briefcase, which this scene may be the uh, suit reveal for both Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, kind of like upgrades type thing. Yeah, this is definitely uh, Cam- in like kind of like the pilot episode, I think, uh, when it comes to getting their new threads in that briefcase. So that's exciting. <laughs> um, and next up we have, I think this is Bucky and Falcon either in their like stomping ground, kind of like a training ground-ish, but they don't seem that close to do a kind of training ground thing. So I think this might be in the middle of an action sequence. Who knows? That might not even be even be Bucky running that could be someone that Falcon is flying after and you'll even see uh in like very you have to get close up where I wish I had expanded this a little better so you could see but Falcon's uh Red Wing his uh drone is following this guy as well so that's exciting to think about next up uh Noah was talking about the big bad which is uh Baron Zemo You'll remember Zemo from Captain America Civil War. He's the guy who broke up the Avengers. Um, so he's back for this uh, series, and he's it's time to snuff him out for good. So I'm excited to see what Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, take to the streets when it comes to this. All right, now going over this uh, sort of like celebration scene in this football field. This is sort of like maybe a Captain America Day type thing sure. where they're just kind of yeah they're just, they're just kind of celebrating uh it's maybe uh the time the time that <laughs> maybe they know that he saved the world type thing so they're celebrating that uh and then quickly jumping over to this scene where bucky is on his motorcycle uh this may be the start of a chase scene maybe he's chasing after uh the flag smashers that's their name yeah yeah, really uh, yeah maybe the, maybe he's chasing after the flag smashers trying to get these hostages back into a safe environment yeah he's in hot uh, pursuit <laughs> yeah and then going over this next scene with the shipment containers maybe this is a kind of like a second parter to that like maybe they uh they catch on to the flag smasher group again yeah. so that kind of it leads to sort of like this awesome epic like gunfight between the two from like winter soldier and the gang itself yeah it gives me serious like a team vibes if it vibes if you ever watch this, that movie the climax takes place within a ton of broken and beaten and blown up shipping containers so that's exciting um next up we have a continuation of that uh japan chinatown new york scene 
with Falcon and Winter Soldier running from gunfire. That's not explosions in the background. That's gunfire off a motorcycle. So something big is about to go down uh, within that. And our behind-the-scenes looks actually give us a closer look into what's going on with that. Next up, we have a complete jump. I think this part comes a little later in the series when Falcon is dodging all these heat-seeking uh, missiles that this giant chopper is shooting out. Funny enough about the missiles, they have these blue, this blue painting on it. Uh, so it leads me to believe that it's like some, not homemade, but I think it's part of the Flag Smashers group. So maybe they're a bigger part of this series altogether. Now, Noah, I'm tagging you in here for this last one. All right, this last one, obviously the final 30, 20 seconds of yeah. the trailer. It has Winter Soldier and Falcon kind of bickering just to kind of see how the, like, what kind of relationship these two have and, like, where they're at at the timeline of the show. And obviously, I'd say they're very comfortable with each other if Falcon would call Bucky stupid cyborg names and kind of make fun of him for that. Uh, which is also funny because, you know, I do that. We to need you. a bit of humor. Yeah, <laughs> we need a bit of humor around here. Yeah. And uh, then Cam, also like, like showing off oh. the new threads as well when it comes to Falcon's new new suit. He's got, you know, the red and the white yeah, actually embracing his uh, comic book look. Uh, Winter Soldier doesn't have so much of a comic book look, but he's cleaned up. He's taken off the hair. Uh, he's got more of a, a shaved, cleaned up look uh, going. I think it's great. I think he looks awesome. The two look uh, really, really good. Uh, one's really grounded. The other one, wow, hilarious. Grounded, and then the other one's flying high. Anyway, uh, next up, we have characters breakdown. This one has excited me ever since they announced the Falcon and Winter Soldier and that they started posting behind the scenes and stuff. But first, obviously, you got your Falcon. We have Falcon coming back. Obviously, not on that suit. Uh, that's the old suit. Uh, no one cares about those threads. Uh, and then we have our Winter Soldier here. Uh, he's uh, like, look how patriotic he looks. Like this is like. I swear, this shows a love letter to America. That is just what it oozes and bleeds and and speaks, I guess. Uh, Noah, yeah. who's yeah. this big bad? I'm... What do we got going? Big bad. Uh, so, what's his name again? John Walker, <laughs> a.k.a. Yeah, U.S. John... agent. Yeah, John Walker, uh, U.S. agent. This is the guy that the government wants to be the next Captain America. They don't want Falcon. They want this guy in particular. Uh, would say a comment, but don't think it'd be very appropriate at the moment. But either way, uh, maybe throughout the show we'll get a reason as to why they would rather this guy than Falcon. Well, Falcon, and, uh, Falcon's actor Anthony Mackie um, had spoken on this. Uh, he said that there are racial issues in this show. Uh, I wish I had gotten the exact quote, but it's out there uh, to take a look at. Falcon, uh, Anthony Mackie, the guy who plays him, uh, had mentioned, like, it's all about uh, kind of a racial issue, and they touch on it, and I don't know how delicate they're going to be about it or if they're going to be straight up. It's going to be it's gonna be something. Yeah, and Cam, would you want to go over the big bad for us here? Because I know you're a fan of him. Yes! If you ever watched Earth Mightiest Heroes, uh, the Avengers TV show growing up, you would know Baron Zemo. This guy is a crazy psychopath. Uh, he's one of the huge Captain America uh, villains. He's actually from Captain America's comic book. Um, and sorry, I'm just scratching my eye here. Oh, geez. Uh, so Baron Zemo has got this look. Uh, this is not how he looks in the show. They get to it. But uh, I really hope he pulls out that sword because that sword's going to be so sick. And I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose my mind if I see it. Um, basically, Baron Zemo's this total B.A from uh avengers sorry yep captain america civil war it's basically avengers 2.5 um and he's gonna be our one of our big bads of the show next up we have sharon carter uh you'll remember her from winter soldier uh and also i think she was in civil war briefly when peggy died uh she's peggy carter's descendant uh, I think it's like great granddaughter, I think, or granddaughter or something like that. Uh, maybe so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Sharon Carter's back. Uh, and there is a behind the scenes photo where it's got her photo and she's wanted. But I didn't put that in the behind the scenes uh, one that we're going to get into. Noah, boom. 
behind yeah, the scenes so, breakdown. Yeah, so this first picture here, you might recognize this guy from uh this is the guy that Captain America fought uh it's I believe was it on the plane where he fought him? Uh no, it was that, in no? the Winter Soldier. Uh he was one of the pirates in the opening scene oh, on the boat. Okay, yeah. He was one of the opening scene or he's one of the pirates on the opening scene. So this guy is here to make a return. Don't know how big of a role he will play, but maybe uh, Bucky will recognize him and maybe this will turn into some sort of rivalry. Or maybe this guy has some sort of personal vendetta with the Flag Smashers, but we will never know until the show comes What if out. he's behind the Flag Smashers? Like, what if he's their leader? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That'd that. be a cool concept. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Would you like to go over this next one for us? I would love to tag in. So we got Sharon Carter. Obviously, she's in that photo as, along with Winter Soldier, uh, Sebastian Stan, uh, Daniel Brühl, Baron Zemo, and Anthony Mackie. Uh, Falcon. They're looking pretty dressy. At least Falcon is. Uh, they're going to some event, it seems. Uh, maybe some kind of late night nightclub or... Uh, I don't know. Something's going to happen. Something big, hopefully. But uh, Falcon's got the top button buttoned up, so it's some kind of high prestige. Um, so it's going to be interesting. It's that kind of behind-the-scenes photo, too, that uh, those photos we saw in the story breakdown. Rewind to watch that. Uh, Noah, cap us off here. All right. Now, finally, we have the USA's Captain America back at it again. We have him in the actual suit and then we have him in this sort of like cadet army uh thing and if you notice on the side he has a few badges to his name i gotta say that i don't know so obviously they wanted a guy who has a lot of war experience and i think they found him yeah they but wanted a course, hero yeah but of course we all want falcon so yeah. we're gonna be cheering him on throughout the tv show but either way i think this guy looks great especially in like the government's captain america suit i think it looks fantastic yeah fun fact about uh this guy so he's gonna be one of the big bads of the series uh fighting for his government and stuff i think he's gonna turn at the end to be a good guy kind of redeem himself or maybe just let me a bad guy i don't know but um for this guy his name is wyatt russell you might recognize him from black mirror uh, he played the lead role in Playtest. He was fantastic in it. He did really, really well. This guy's got great acting chops. He's the son of Kurt Russell, who played Ego in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, if you didn't know that. Um, so this guy is that guy's son. So uh, we got a family lineage going through the Marvel Cinematic Universe here. I'm excited to see what they do with it. Um, I think he looks great. Uh, and Yeah. I'm psyched to see what they have for this. So that's the end, guys. Thanks for sticking around and watching. Uh, I hope you are geeking out as much as we are over the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Expect some more uh, to come your way. Uh, and, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, guys. And have a great day.